It's time for Ask the Vet, and we have our good friend back, veterinarian Dr. Courtney Campbell. Welcome back, sir. Our question comes from one of our very own producers, Keegan, who's actually in our production area. Hey, there's Hi. Keegan. Hey, Keegan. So what's going on? So, Dr. Courtney, I came over from the office just to be here, to be a part of the show, because I have a very, very cute dog that loves me very much. He just doesn't like other people. <laughs> so he gets really anxious, especially he's very protective of his home. So if I have guests over, he gets very anxious. He hides. He um, kind of gets in an attack mode and will growl and even kind of snip at people. Dr. Oh, Berman no. has been... Uh, anxious is an understatement. <laughs> we actually have a little footage here, and your yeah. dog's name is Cash. Cash. Okay. Let's look at some of this anxious footage. That's what he does. And he barks loud. Oh. So you, so you experienced this first and I, I, But look how sad and scared he looks. <laughs> but he does that, and the room was filled with people, and, I, and he came at me, by, like, like I, I thought, and I thought, why me? There, there was so many other people, and I felt, I must look, like, weak, and I'm like, <laughs> like I'm the one that can get eaten. Right, like, why right. did the he weakest, want me? The weakest one of the group. He's got to take him out. Dogs. Well, it's not really people important. that are scared. Yeah. It's I mean, people that like dogs. Keegan, Cash is so beautiful, and you, sure. but the last thing you want to do is have Keegan worrying that Cash, obviously sitting around anxious all the time, but, you know, may attack Hurt someone in, in, in the anxious state. I, I think all of us can relate to walking into a room and feeling some degree of social anxiety. We all feel it, but obviously we're not going to bite somebody. With Cash's situation, he's saying to himself, I'm really scared, I'm really anxious, and the only way I know how to do it is to put up a good offense, is the best defense. So right. what we have to do is just basically let Cash know that Having people over or having a lot of people in the room is not time to be anxious. And so we start out with one person and we look for triggers. If one person in the house, the hair comes up, we see that, that, that the hair comes up, he gets anxious, then we know, okay, that's a trigger. His voice, he goes, <laughs> he start, it, We start to, yeah, yeah. He, he's basically trying to show you that I'm. I'm, I'm the, the baddest man in the room, yeah. and he's really not. He's just scared. So how does Keegan address this, then? A couple of things. I, and I, the three, kind of three-prong approach I would do is look for triggers. So we start out with just one person in the room. Have that person. Don't run up to Cash. Don't be in Cash's face. Allow Cash to kind of adjust and see how things are going to play out in the room. And eventually, if Cash feels comfortable, he'll come up. He gets treats when strangers come over. That way, he knows Good things happen with strange people. Second thing I would do is when a stranger comes over, I would have a little bit of a halty or a head halter on muzzle, him. Muzzle, you're saying? Either basket yeah. muzzle could be an option too, and that allows you a little bit more control. Dr. Courtney, can I yeah. ask, is it good for me to have a leash on him where I'm restraining him? Because I do worry that he'll kind of lunge at somebody, but I also don't want him to feel like, you know, you can't be near that person. So I kind of... Yeah, I think that. your point is very well taken. So when I mention a head halter or uh, a halter, that has a leash attached. Okay. And so you'll have some control. And then, I, I, you know, we did have a question about something called a thunder shirt. And um, how many of us like during times of anxiety like Wanna a hug? Hugged. How many people like to be hugged? Me. A lot of people like to be hugged. <laughs> and so there Good are dogs. some people who feel like, okay, I mean, and, and people are familiar with Temple Grandin's work about being squeezed in that sort of sense. Sensation, feeling more secure, a thunder shirt could be an effective could, option. Could, or it hugs could. the dog. So it the essentially gives them a safe. constant embrace. So, Keegan, yes. just being open and honest here, okay. you have a lot of anxiety about this as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I want to have, be able to have people in my house, and, and I want Cash to be feel safe, and same with my guests. So it's kind of a stressful situation for me. Well, she's here, and when she's anxious, say, the dog's the dog probably anxious, of and course, it just feeds of on course. each other. And here's the best way to lower both of your anxiety levels. Just start out with a lot more commands. There's no free lunch. So for Cash, if he has to sit, he has to, if, he, uh, if you ask him to sit, he sits, he gets a treat. He stays, he gets a treat. And what that does is it bonds you two and it fosters that relationship. That way, in a stressful situation, mm -hmm. you two are so tightly bonded that Cash will only pay attention to you and will not lunge, will alpha. not bark. And uh, we're moving away from a dominance type scenario and alpha, but it's about <laughs> basically bonding between you two and having that command structure so that regardless of the scenario, you and him are together.